Hello and welcome to I Am Geek. This is episode 208. I'm Katrin and I'm joined by Chris. Brian back at Disney World. So Chris and I have been tasked with the ultimate task to do a great show in his absence. And I, it, it'll be difficult. But, but, but it, it could be our last one <laughs> that we get to do. Because <laughs> tonight we're going to talk about fashion. Oh. That should, that should do it, right? That oh. should be... I, I, that should be a great show. I think this is just going to start a whole new era of I am <laughs> just I am fashion. But specifically, we'll be talking about the Met Gala. Is it, it's Gala, yeah, right? Gala, I don't, Gala. Let's see, I don't even know the, the professional <laughs> version. Yeah. The, the, it just happened this week, mm-hmm. uh, and all the craziness that was there. But we're also going to be talking about uh, the new trailer for Hawkeye on Disney+, mm-hmm. Plus, the menu, and the prices for Epcot's new Space 220. And we'll... If we have a little time, we're going to talk about Halloween a little bit, since that's coming up pretty soon. Well, at least our decorating <laughs> <laughs> happens. Because as soon as October hits, at least at my house, that's um, that's uh, when we start putting everything up. But So, we'll talk mm-hmm. about that. So, that's we got a lot to get to. Welcome to everybody in the chat. You didn't miss much except for me goofing up. So you said you, you missed some. You didn't miss some. We just had the intro. So you're all good. Um, if you, you're you not joining us in the chat you, and you, you're able to, to, to watch a YouTube stream on a Thursday night, we usually do this on Thursday nights at about 9.15 Central. So find us on YouTube at I Am Geek Show. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're, we're, we'll go ahead and jump in here. So oh, yeah. um, Chris, how was, how's your week? How you been? We didn't see you last I week. I know. Uh, I was, you know... Scaling Mount Everest. Um, it, <laughs> we we told them you were sick. Oh, oh uh, well, I mean that was that was my cover because okay. I needed to scale Mount Everest. I do that every time. I see about this, this okay. time of year. It's it's a good this time of the year. It's 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 a good time during the year to uh, scale a mountain covered in snow. Because uh, I mean, sure. at least it makes sense to me. No, uh, yeah, I wasn't feeling good, so I was I was out, but I'm back oh, and. Wow. Or, and Brian wasn't going to be here this week, so I was like, "Well, yeah, I'll definitely come." Uh, on. Better be yeah. back. Yeah, he won't. He's not here, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm glad to have you back. Oh, thank you. Because this would be hard with by myself. So. Well, you'd be. <laughs> let's try it out. Go ahead. So, well, let's try it. Out. Okay. So, <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Gatron. Yeah. No. <laughs> Perfect. Nope. See, it doesn't work. So. Here we go. Uh, so let's let's talk about the Hawkeye trailer first, right? That was dropped this yes. week. It's been a few days, so we've had some time to digest it and watch all the, the Easter egg videos mm-hmm. and <laughs> figure out what's going on with it and think about uh, what's going to happen. It's going to be a, a six-episode show, I believe. So it's nice. not okay. a huge... Not a big uh, undertaking. A huge undertaking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's like a big movie. That's, that's <laughs> right? good. I... I'm so. I'm fine with the with the shorter seasons that, that they've been doing, like just like six to nine episodes or whatever. Like it yeah. it, it yeah. gets rid of any filler, at least hopefully for the most part, unless they decide they want to go work on a boat. Um, <laughs> then there might <laughs> be a little filler. You hope. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what they'll do for Hawkeye. Maybe they'll like be scrubbing like graffiti off of walls. Uh, okay. Yeah, or shopping for Christmas yeah, presents. Yeah, shopping for know. Christmas. They they might need to be getting that Turbo Man toy. Uh, That's right. <laughs> they might be trying to get that. Uh, but uh, what, what what were your initial your initial reaction to the trailer? I, it's it seems like a lot going on. Like it's these <laughs> scenes are just going back and forth and back and forth and all these things. And I I was kind of watching it on the side, so I missed a lot. I feel like because when I watched the, an Easter egg video that said it had. What seventy one Easter eggs? I'm like, well, that, that can't be right. <laughs> There's no way that's right. Um, I was like, I gotta watch this again, I guess, you know. And, <laughs> but it, but my my first thought was, is this a Die Hard movie? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it felt like. I mean, it had that kind of tone to it. Uh, yeah. One guy against a whole bunch of other guys on Christmas. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely had that feeling, which was nice. Like, ah. I enjoyed it. Like when I watched it, I thought yeah. it was oh, I yeah. thought it was a really fun trailer. Um, I liked the the Christmas theme. We uh, we've only had one yeah. Christmas MCU, and that was Iron Man uh, three, right. uh, which Sorry. we don't like to remember that much. Um, 
unfortunately. Uh, it's going to make it right. <laughs> it's it's going to save Christmas for the MCU. That's what it's going <laughs> to do. Right. Hawkeye yeah. saves Christmas. I think that's what needs to be. <laughs> that's that's the name yeah. of the show. Yeah. Yeah. At yeah. least a title one of the episodes is Hawkeye saves Christmas. Um, yeah. Yeah. Him. Him and him and uh, Kate Bishop saving Santa. Like that. I think it, I think they could take the plot from Ernest Saves Christmas and just transfer it into an episode of the show, and I think it would work. Uh, okay, <laughs> all right, <laughs> maybe so. Yeah, no, you don't think as so? much as I love no. Ernest, I, okay. I don't. Yeah, maybe. I don't <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I think it looks a lot of fun. It happens in New York, mm-hmm. um, which is, I guess, where a lot of things in the MCU seem to happen. Maybe. Yeah, right? it, a lot of stuff takes place in New York. I mean, like, I mean, Spider Man for the most part takes place in New York. I mean, the first Avengers movie yeah. and like Tony so, Stark in New York and everything. Like, yeah. It, it kind of leaves it open for anybody to show up, I guess. It really <laughs> does. They're already where everybody yeah. else is. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it, it kind of opens up and they're um, again in New York. They're, he's talking about how he's wanting to send them away and he's going to catch up with him before Christmas. He'll, he'll finish this up before Christmas. You know? mm-hmm. So it, it's, there's a lot of things that I think are going to be out of order a little bit. Cause you're like, yeah, did he, do you immediately jump into this? But it, it, from what I understand, it's like it, it, you know, it takes place after end game, you know, he, he sends his family off or whatever, but it's because he's, he hears about these vigilantes that are terrorizing the town. And there's this, this, um, person that looks like him yes in his Ronin yeah, outfit yeah right? his Ronin outfit from Avengers um in game yeah like someone yeah. basically is going out and and doing what he did and so he he he's like well that's not me and I don't know what they're doing so yeah he's got to go out and kind of find out what's happening and stop it from happening possibly save yeah. this person from themselves right save them. <laughs> right so he he Finally finds this person and it turns out to be a woman. And he's what? like, oh, I'm all You're a young girl. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're a young girl. So it's, you know, this funny scene. It turns out to be um, yeah, just Kate Bishop. Kate, yeah. <laughs> Kate, thank you. Kate Bishop, <laughs> who is uh, from the comic book series of Hawkeye, right? Yes, she is from the comic book series. Uh, she was part of the Young Avengers. That's where um, That's right. she kind of got her start. Um, she comes from like a wealthy family and there was basically in the comics, there was this big hubbub or whatever going on. And, and, uh, and the young event, like young Avengers, like Patriot, which we met before in Falcon and Winter Soldier, he was the nephew of the, uh, older Captain America guy, um, that got experimented on and then was okay. shun- shunned away by the government or whatever. So we met him. And so, she she actually has like a little bit of relationship in the comics with him, but um, oh. but she helps them save the day basically, and they're like, hey, you should join us. Um, she's just like, yeah, and and at that point in the comics, Hawkeye that we know, uh, the Jeremy Renner character, is dead uh, because of Wanda, and so she takes up the mantle of Hawkeye as a tribute to him basically, and and they go on several missions or whatever. Hawkeye comes back from the dead eventually and and <laughs> then trains her and they did a, a comic book series just hawkeye with him and her and that's what this is kind of based off of a little bit yeah like her them kind yeah. of training and meeting up and doing all that. that's right yeah that there's a lot of uh training apparently going on and apparently there's a theme throughout um uh, other avengers movies like he's training um Wanda trying to get her to join with the Avengers and be part of that, yeah. just showing what that means to be part of that mm-hmm. group. You know, yeah, he's he's the motivational speaker for the Avengers, uh, where he gets gets yeah. people going to <laughs> right. to fight the good fight. <laughs> yeah, so so the bad guys in this, some of the bad guys, there's a could be a lot of bad guys or a few handful, of mm-hmm. them, I should say, but the, there's the what we think are the tracksuit mafia. <laughs> yes, from from that comic book series <laughs> that we mentioned. Yeah, from that comic book series, and they, apparently they end every sentence with "bro." Is that yes? They, they apparently that? yeah they apparently <laughs> say "bro" a lot, and and when they're talking to each other, they go "bro, bro." Um, so <laughs> I hope that's I do there. too. Could be pretty. Funny. It really needs to be. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they they have to do. I it. bet it will. Yeah. <laughs> so. But, and the whole idea is, though, again, is that 
Clint has made all these enemies as Ronan. Mm-hmm. And she's dressing up as Ronan, so that's why they're attacking. Um, yeah, her. she she seems to <laughs> so. have have uh, some kind of beef with with them. Uh, we're not we're at this point we're not sure why. Um, we do see her mother in the series, played by um, is it? Uh, it's it's the woman from the Bates Motel, the woman that plays the mom, uh, Vera Farmiga. I, I don't know how to say her last name. Oh, yeah. um, she's um, she's from like uh, Bates Motel and the uh, Annabelle movies and stuff like that. She's a really good actress. I really like her. She's yeah. playing her mom in that. And in the Ultimate Marvel Universe, um, her family was involved with um, Hydra, I believe. Okay. Um, so maybe they, they they possibly could take it and twist a little bit where more maybe her family is more of like a mob dealing with the mob, so she could be like going against her mother and and trying to okay. right the wrongs that her family's doing, possibly because it kind of happened a little bit in the Ultimate comics. So maybe they'll take pieces of that and throw that in there. Yeah, Make it a little interesting. So another kind of call out to the comics is the font that they used for the title. Oh yeah. The the, 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 the H has an arrow. Yeah. The title is like almost like spot on from the, the title of the comic book series. Even that, that kind of poster looking picture looks almost like the Mm -hmm. the comic book that one video I saw showed, you know, it was (laughs) mostly, yeah, the the comic book had a a nice style to it. It was, it's, it's very like you, you, you see that comic book and you see this and it's like, Oh yeah, they're really drawing, like the the imagery from this, which is really cool, yeah. Um, and and they they have Lucky the pizza dog that they pulled from the comics as well. He's in the comics. He's like Hawkeye's dog. He rescues him from like a like a mob boss That's mafia right. type thing or whatever. Um, and they <laughs> and he loves to eat pizza. And <laughs> apparently there was a whole issue of the comic book just devoted just to the dog, like going through a day of the life of the dog. So, so maybe we'll get a whole episode of just Lucky the Pizza I mean, Dog. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but it it seems like with uh, this show and with Loki, they're kind of expanding the universe a little bit, mm-hmm. right? They're with uh, or at least tying in the comic book comic books more than just having this own little story. They're at least like with Loki, they brought in all these other characters that comic book fans would know, mm-hmm. you know, it's kind of like it's fan service. In some yeah. Way. So it's, so they're doing that with this where they're bringing in all these little pieces here and there and just mm-hmm. kind of really expanding that universe, you know, um, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. They're really playing to the fans with these, uh, which is nice. The, the costumes yeah. are a lot more like, the comic books, which I mean, yeah. they've been kind of like the comic books a little bit here and there. I mean, especially like Iron Man sure. and stuff like that. It's like spot on comic book as some of them, but like Hawkeye, like his outfit was never necessarily like to a T from the comic books or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's and things are starting to go in that direction. It seems like with all the Marvel series and movies where the characters are looking more and more like their comic book counterparts with their costumes. Um, especially Kate Bishop, like in her her uniform is is pretty close to what right what she yeah, is in the comics. Purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so as far as bad guys, <clears throat> mm-hmm. there's we know the swordsman is going to be yeah. one of the characters. The swordsman who is um, he's been both good and bad in the comics. He trained Hawkeye, um, like before he became Hawkeye. He like trained him up in that. Um, so yeah, we know he's going to be in it, played by Tony Dalton. Um, so we, he wasn't in the trailer at all. So like, like <laughs> they show, it seems like they showed quite a bit in the trailer, but there's still a ton of stuff they haven't shown. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because like him yeah. and then also, um, a character called Echo, Echo uh, yeah. who's being played by Maya Lopez, I believe. Um, I and right. she, yep. she has ties to, to Daredevil Daredevil. And yeah. um, also ties to the Kingpin. Kingpin, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's yes. the other one that everybody thinks could happen. As yes, well. uh, because like she was, she was basically raised by the Kingpin in the comics to be like an assassin or whatever. And also in the comics, the 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 tracksuit mafia was um, tied to the Kingpin yeah. as well. So um, and there's rumors of a mysterious villain that we 
they haven't revealed for the show. So, so you never know. It's, it's the new Mephisto. Is it? Is it Mephisto? Yeah. So I mean, Ryan. Ryan has. He's always had the train gang, the Mephisto train gang. Yeah. I think I. I think I deserve a train gang this time. I, th- okay. I think I'm going to be the kingpin train gang for this one. For sure. I mean, Ryan's not here, so I I'm think a lot of it. people are on board with it. So <laughs> it, would it be the kingpin train or kingpin yes. pin alley? Uh, whatever. <laughs> kingpin bowlers. Um, kingpin bowlers. <laughs> no, uh, but uh, apparently Vincent. So, and that's oh, a. Go ahead. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. No. Go ahead. Apparently Vincent D'Onofrio like put out like a weird kind of tweet, like. Like almost like an hour or like right when the trailer dropped. Yeah. Um, so you never know. Um. <laughs> so we've had this character in another movie, right? Because they're saying it's the same, possibly the same person that was play, that played King Pen. Yeah, Vincent D'Onofrio. I can't yeah. think of right now. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so that's they've already they already have that in place. Mm-hmm. So that could they happen. could easily pull him in. He's he's been wanting to come back to play the role. Um, he, he's, he's been a big proponent of like getting Daredevil back, uh, and doing another season and wanting to play the character again. Uh, so it was a really weird tweet. It was like a, almost like a (laughs) rhyme thing or something. I don't know. It was odd. Uh, but yeah, people were speculating like, Oh, well that means like he's going to be in it or it could just be him just like, Hey, remember me? Hey, I still want to be in this. (laughs) People still want it. So do it. (laughs) But you never know. So, yeah, and so I also read this that it could also feature or also features Florence Pugh as Yelena Belova. Yes, yeah, so you haven't seen. And I, I haven't seen Black Widow yet. No. So I, I, I read a little bit about this, but it apparently it's it ties into the story a little bit. So yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, spoilerish kind of things. Yeah. I don't know if you care. Um, but it, it basically, yeah, yeah. so it, at the end credits of, of Black Widow, because I, I watched Black Widow, I, I enjoyed it, it was fun. Um, yeah. But at the end credits, um, yeah, Yelena goes to the gravesite of uh, Natasha, and then uh, Elaine from Seinfeld shows up. I can't, I can't remember her name, the Contessa. <laughs> That's her yeah, name. It's Elaine. Like, yeah. I don't know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she shows up and basically yeah. like, hey, do you want to get back at the person responsible for your sister's death? And she shows him a picture right. of Hawkeye. So supposedly, okay. I mean, it, it seems like that will lead into the series, but. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. it's that, at the same time, there's like, it almost seems like there's so much going on. It's a whole lot. Yeah. I mean, um, so we'll see. Unless there's just a hit I, out on his head and just everybody's coming after him. Like, I mean. <laughs> That's what it seems like. <laughs> so October 6th, I'll get to watch Black Widow. So uh, that becomes available on Disney Plus nice. for free as part of Disney Plus. So that's good. Um, another thought I had is that the show kind of feels like Arrow, right? But it's just because it's Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bow and arrow. It's so, uh, it's, but it's a you're, he's avenging he's you know <laughs> it, <laughs> but anyways so it this this the show comes out november 24th on disney plus mm-hmm. um like i said only six episodes so I, I think it'll be fine there's a lot of stuff coming soon on disney plus with book of boba fett yeah it's coming fairly soon right and and mandalorian will be back my son asks me almost every day like when does mandalorian come back and i'm like i think it's january <laughs> but i don't even think they've said really because it gets here when it gets here. <laughs> it gets here just let me alone <laughs> but Bob, but book of boba fett i did notice somebody had it posted like all the the shows that are coming and book of boba fett had actually more episodes than the new mandalorian which is only six Ooh, episodes wow <laughs> So, which is probably fine because you, you almost feel like, like, what else are they going to do with Mandalorian? Because they had this big story that, that yeah. that's what you identify him with is mm-hmm. Baby Yoda, Grogu. Yeah, you know? the, yeah the next season is definitely feels like it's going to morph into something new, uh, a little, yeah. little different. And yeah, it'll, it'll definitely revolve around the Darksaber, it seems like. So, so yeah, that'll be interesting. True. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Boba Fett, I though. So. Um because uh, I mean, I don't think we necessarily have any clue exactly what's going to be going on in that series. No. Uh, no, I mean it could be everything that happened after the Sarlacc pit, or it could be things, or it could be after he met up with Mando. Well, you know, I mean, it, which is, yeah, yeah. I, guess. I mean, I, or did they well, say I, I, I'm I'm thinking it at least takes place like 
we saw the end in the end of the Mandalorian. That's true. Where he goes and yeah. takes over kind of Jabba the Hutt's old yeah, kind of like mafia type thing. So it's going to be yeah. something like that. <laughs> but like, what exactly? Like, it, it could just be him trying to maintain control. Um, yeah. But it seems like he's on a vengeful trek. So like, who knows? Who knows who he'll run into? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'll be interesting we'll, we'll see well anything else about hawkeye we kind of skipped over the <laughs> i think that was pretty much everything i mean that was uh, for the most part kind of what was happening uh in it yeah. like it just it seems it seems like it'll be a fun romp uh yep. and like I'm excited. yeah I, i'm looking forward to it um like I, I haven't disliked any of the series so far no. uh so there's there's been something fun in all of them so I, I haven't watched this week's What If, but last week of What If was the zombie episode. Yes. Which I actually enjoyed a whole lot. I think some people were like, man, this is depressing. <laughs> but it's, I didn't find it. I thought it was yeah, I didn't find it depressing. I, I liked it. To me, it was just the pacing. The pacing, it just, it yeah. felt rushed for like this. Okay. It, it felt like, I mean, there's, there's so much going on in it and there's so much taken in because like I, I read the marvel zombies comics and they're really fun so i was really looking forward to this episode and so maybe that's a little bit on top of that it's kind of like oh okay i guess i mean this is kind of their their take on it but it just seemed like it was like okay we're gonna go from a to to b like super quick <laughs> yeah like here's the characters okay we're done <laughs> moving on yeah uh, that's true but, uh, but it was fun I, it, yeah. My favorite part is um, is happy when he he shoots his his hand gun or whatever the uh, like the Iron Man yeah. thing look at thing he's like blam 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 <laughs> and then when he becomes the zombie spoiler yeah. sorry he's like blam, <laughs> blam. that was good that was that good. was awesome the, I love the, that yeah the uh, it was interesting like yeah the it's it's it seemed like the the zombies like still kind of maintained kind of who they were a little bit, but not really. Yeah. In the comics, yeah. I think it was a little yeah. bit, they maintained a little bit more. But it's like, it's to me, what part of the thing that felt rushed was like, you know, um, Bruce Banner shows up and Iron Man and Doctor Strange and Wong are, are, are coming, and, and then plus Obsidian or like the two Thanos guys are coming at him. And it seems like the world has gone like to, to crap, like super quick and like these... <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, especially when the Avengers turned, like there was no stopping them. And then like a, a swarm of ants takes them out <laughs> in like a second. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, why don't they just do that the whole time? That's right. Like, I mean, she's yeah. controlling the ants. She does it once. Did, yeah. Was that the, all the ants left in the world? <laughs> There's no more. They're all full yeah. now, I guess. But it, it, it was, that was just that one thing. It's like, oh, well, they took them out super quick and. They're not going to do that again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No way. That was that was the yeah, thing that got that was, me. I was like, oh. It's... <laughs> but it was fun though. I like yeah. how I, I, the whole Vision and Wanda thing was was interesting. Um, yeah. They they kind of like the similar thing happened in the comics where like Black Panther was being used as food. <laughs> uh, so okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> It happens. Yeah. Um, it happens. Especially in the zombie so apocalypse. I, I, I don't, what is this week? Did you watch this week's? Yeah, I did watch this week. The, this week was what, um, what if uh, Killmonger saved Tony? Um, okay. All right. And it was it was it was it was, right. I mean, it was good. It was still fun. Um, uh, I still like the. I think I like the first episode the best. Um, yeah. Still uh, of all of them. <laughs> yeah, Captain Carter. Yeah. Uh, it just I I felt yeah. the the pacing was the best uh, on that one and it was just it was fun, it wasn't like <laughs> really depressing yeah. or anything. Yeah. Um. And and it kind of wrapped up in a way that was kind of satisfying, that you're not just like oh I want to see what happens next, because <laughs> yeah. this this episode also ends that way where it ends kind of like in a way that's like oh I kind of want to follow this a little bit more. And yeah. I don't feel like they yeah, will. And I, yeah. And, I, and yeah, that first episode ended in a way that was like, okay, well, I mean, yeah, it ended basically like the first Captain America movie. Right. And so right. It, it felt okay to do that. 
This one's a sure. little bit different, which is like, eh, I kind of want to see more. It's just a yeah, taste. It's, it, <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't know. This one, the, I, as much as I enjoy the series, it's still not like, oh, I got to go see the next one. Because they don't lead into each other, so it's, there's no rush to go watch them. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem so, to be. It's just something fun to do. So at least we have something to watch. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. I, like I like them. So, don't get me wrong. I like um, it. But, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Okay, so that's enough of Disney Plus and Marvel, I guess. But, <laughs> so we now for some uh, Disney World news. We've been waiting and waiting to hear from Disney about Space 220. Mm-hmm. And we finally heard about the, the menus and the opening date and the um, when you can make reservations and all that fun stuff. So um, if you haven't heard of it, if you've, not, if you've listened to our show but you're still not sure what it is, I'm going to read a description for Ooh, you. Oh, yes. Get ready for your taste bud to let your taste buds take a simulated, <laughs> simulated, <laughs> simulated. <laughs> flight 220 miles above the Earth's surface as Space 220 Restaurant at Epcot finally begins departures on September 20th for walk-up diners. Reservations will be ready will be available to book on September 20th with the first reservation date available on the 27th. So... Mm-hmm. So we at least know, you know, it's it's opening actually Monday. Ryan's actually will be in Disney. I don't know if he's going to be able to go to the restaurant. It's going to be walk up at that mm-hmm. point. I doubt he'll be able to get in. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I don't want to wait be for a line. it. Especially now after seeing the menu, I'm pretty sure he's not interested. <laughs> yeah, um, the menu is kind of eh. Like it's kind of eh. Yeah, like it didn't like. I mean, it didn't seem like anything special. Like yeah, really it. I don't know. It's a fancy restaurant. Yeah. And so fancy food. Mm-hmm. And it's a prefi- prefix menu, right? It's yes. Except you're supposed to say it. Prefi- prefix it. Yeah, that. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, so, I mean, they're going to they're gonna make it interesting looking. So, it's not just a regular plate that you get, I guess. But, mm. I, I don't know. It's... It's fancy food for a fancy price. Like lunch is fifty five dollars a head, yeah. and dinner is eighty bucks a Oof, head, right? Yeah. And uh, again, it's it's kind of ordinary foods. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's like any like kind of really nice restaurant that you could go to outside of Disney. Yeah. Like, it, and it's probably good. Yeah, I don't. I, don't I I'm I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure the food tastes good like i mean but like some of the, unfortunately like a lot of things i read on there it's like oh i can't eat that i can't eat that i can't eat that uh, <laughs> just because of my yeah i'm sure they have some dietary things that they can do whatever but uh oh, but sure. a lot of times with the prefix a uh, uh, menu um it's a lot of stuff's already pre-prepared and so you can't do any substitutions or you can't remove anything because it's already like set and then they just like make it so it can be out the yep. door really quickly. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I mean it's 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 a lot of traditional food. Like I mean, steak and fish and salads and. <laughs> so I described it to my my wife and I said, and there's a you get it's prefix, so you get a appetizer or a starter and a, a main meal and you get a dessert. And I was just looking at it again. You don't you don't get a dessert. You get a dessert <laughs> at um, dinner. That's when you get dessert. Okay, so just yeah. at the dinner. Yeah. All right. So, but like somebody said in the chat here, it's like you, you can get uh, space greens and a burger for fifty five dollars at lunch. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What is happening? Yeah. Here, you know? And I mean, it's the experience too. You, mm-hmm. I kind of compared it to my one of my favorite themed restaurants, which is uh, Sci Fi Dine In Theater or Sci Fi Dine In whatever. <laughs> and so it's like a it's like a drive in. Mm-hmm saying totally wrong but anyways it's a drive-in but you don't drive in you sit in these fake cars mm-hmm. and you, you you see this huge screen it looks like you're outside it yeah. almost looks like you're in somebody's backyard and some mm-hmm. ways, but it's like it's <laughs> supposed to look like a drive-in right and they bring the food to you and it's it, you feel like you're doing this thing because mm-hmm. you're inside this building that looks nothing like the outside of the building right yes. so it's it's the super cool thing and that's kind of what this is supposed to be too right mm-hmm. it's you're in space you're in the space uh, station almost, you know, and you can look out and see the globe, and I guess it's moving the Earth, whatever <laughs> I should say. But um, yeah, and that's I, I don't know. I well, I guess time will tell if it's worth it, but I I just have a hard time yeah. to pay those prices. Yeah, I don't know, and and plus you don't get to watch the the blob trailer 
over and over again. That you exactly. get and and you get the the blob song stuck in your head. Beware of the blob. Um, <laughs> I love that. So I mean, the. The thing is, it, it brings something. It brings a signature dining, I guess, to Epcot. I mean, you, I guess there are some others, though. Really, there's there's the the place in Canada, the um, Le Cellier. I guess mm-hmm. is the fancy place there. Um, yeah. So there is some yeah, other in Mexico, fancy stuff there. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess each each, they do have some each already, like but. yeah country like has yeah, its kind of signature true. place to eat. So I don't know. Uh, this I is their futuristic signature place to eat where you, yeah. like, you can look exactly. at the blackness of space and realize just oh how meaningless life is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I don't know. Um, I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just hope it looks better than, which it has to, than um, cosmic rays and <laughs> Tomorrowland. I guess it, it has to. Sure. Yeah, I um, hope so. Um, it, it, it does. I mean, it, it's the, the screens look really cool, you know, mm-hmm. and, and because it, it is a screen, it's not real. The, the elevator looks really cool, the fake elevator, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Um, but is it that worth that much? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you could go up and get drinks or something, that might be cool. I mean, it, it reminds me like when when you go on a cruise, like each each restaurant has like the, they have like their kind of signature flair, like French food or or like Italian food or whatever, and, and a lot of different yeah. restaurants. And and this this food kind of reminds me of that. So I I'm pretty sure it'll all be good. But at the same time, there's like there's like a, a chicken, like there's like the there's like the <laughs> yeah. like the fancy like gourmet stuff you can get, but then they always yeah. offer like a, a chicken with roasted potatoes, roasted potatoes. And it's just like, <laughs> well, that's kind of the thing that's like, yeah, it'll taste like chicken, and basically that's kind of like the thing. Like, well, I can eat that one. Um, yeah. Do I want to? And they have to. Do I want to spend fifty bucks to eat a rotisserie chicken? Yeah, one of the, one of the things that they they did at Galaxy's Edge and the restaurants there is they try to make these. Uh, they had this menu when they first opened it that had that nobody could read because it was on our, our best, you know, mm-hmm. and and people got mad and so they changed it and it's like okay, this is boring now, you know. It's kind of fun to have that, mm-hmm. and it's almost like they learned their lesson in some ways because there's none of these. I mean, there's a few things that sound space like, like there's Big Bang, Barada, Starry, Calamari, Blue Moon, Cauliflower, Neptuna, Centauri blah 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 space greens Mm -hmm. i mean there are a few things but it's mostly on the liftoffs like when you get to the meal the star the star course seared tuna blue house salmon centauri burger flat iron steak you know yeah they don't have these space i I, I wish that there's there's that whole um gastro art or whatever i forget where it's what it's called where like food is prepared in like almost like a futuristic kind of way well um and yeah. i, I kind of wish they had done something like that uh gastronomy they, or so something. they do have some things they they have this one it says a the galactic galactic lobster globe so it's like a fishbowl almost and it has food in it that's very prepared very space-like mm, so uh, but it's i mean it makes me think they're gonna put them in these dishes that make them yeah they're basically putting on a plate futuristic. that makes it look futuristic or whatever but uh, it's <laughs> yeah. not like they're they're like really going bold with how they're yeah, preparing it and stuff like that. And I, I kind of yeah. wish they would done a little bit of that, like just like really play to the atmosphere more. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, we'll I'm sure it's good food. Uh, sure. But yeah, I don't know. Um, they, they do have one thing that has astronaut ice cream. <laughs> That's right. It, <laughs> they have a it's drink. It's an alcoholic drink. And <laughs> it's an alcoholic drink, but it has some, astronaut ice cream in it so it is the big tang not the big bang but the big tang so it has tang infused agave nectar <laughs> well <laughs> Which I think tang is, is a big thing for astronauts so. it is i think it's hilarious <laughs> i mean that's that's really the thing it's that's exactly why people go to the well one of the reasons why people go to the um uh, well, the place in um, Galaxy's Edge, uh, the um, cantina there. So, uh, because they want to get those cool drinks. So, there's a lot of those kind of drinks there. The, mm-hmm. the pictures are kind of funny because it looks like the water or the drink is moving because it's they're they're doing these fun, fancy things with it going into the class and taking a picture. You know, <laughs> it's like it won't look like that. No, <laughs> <really> <laughs> <not>. <laughs> but, but it, I mean, mm-hmm. it's cool. I mean, I, I think 
Uh, and then the desserts are an easy way to make some futuristic looking desserts. So that, mm-hmm. that will be cool. I, I do like stiffy, sti- sti- sticky toffee pudding. I can say it. Stiffy, <laughs> stiffy toffee. Yeah. Love sticky toffee. <laughs> sticky toffee pudding. Don't we all? Chris? I do uh, love that. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'd, I'd go and I get mean, the dessert. Just... And then like, um, sticky toffee pudding sticky cake. Toffee. That is it's hard to say. Say, say it. Try it at it home. Is. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> yeah. Try it at home. Try it yourself. <laughs> Can you say it? Um, so I mean, if you if you could go in and get desserts and drinks, then I think it would be okay. Now, I guess I'm not 100 percent sure on that if that's available, but it, I mean, there is. Uh, they do have that prefix menu, and then there's a kids menu. It's mm-hmm. only thirty dollars. Only thirty. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to just go in and do that kind of thing. Yeah, because like, because um, um, I mean, I if, like a day. hot day or whatever. And it's like I just want like yeah. a dessert or something, but I'd love to go to this place, but I really don't want like a steak <laughs> right now. Yeah. Um. So yeah. I mean, so that'd be cool. Like, I'm guessing we'll at lunch you can buy the desserts separately. Like. I, yeah, you'd have to add it yeah. on, I guess. So Which yeah. Uh, probably about yeah, the same price anyway. I don't know why they don't just <laughs> offer it. So. <laughs> to All begin with yeah seems yeah. weird um so we'll see yeah i bet it'll be fine mm-hmm. I mean, it's just you know it, it, it vance in the comments said i may i may watch too much top chef but the menu seems basic compared to what they do on tv that's, that's exactly yes what I was thinking. It, yeah because yeah. My, so my son is uh he's 10 he, he's really gotten into all the cooking shows mm-hmm. and um and they do all these extravagant things, you know, and do all, uh, make these, they have to, cause it's competition. You're supposed to make it fancy mm-hmm. and all this. And it, and some of that stuff they do is what you would expect, but no, you get a steak <laughs> or spaghetti. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what? I want them to hand the chef a basket full of like just random stuff and they have to make <laughs> something out of it. Make to, it look to spicy. Feed me. Like cheesy puffs. Yeah. What am I going to do with these? And <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a, a model of the solar system out of it. There we go. Well, I'll just break it down. I'll use it as my flower. They, um, I think they're missing out. I mean, they could. They could do totally have like these. I mean, it would probably be expensive to try to, and take a lot of time to do these things, but it seems like they could make like these cool like models of space. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it seems like that. Yeah. I mean, the way they're using the tang and the astronaut ice cream, they, it seems like yeah, they could right. use things like that in various ways throughout like the whole courses, but. They didn't. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> what do it? What do they? Yeah, know? What, what do we do know? We know? <laughs> um. So okay. Well, that's enough about that. Well, time will tell. Next week, we're going to hear all about it mm-hmm. from, from all kinds yeah, of people. Who knows? Maybe that, yeah. Someone will go there and they'll be like, "This is the best calamari I've ever had in my life." In I mean, space. it's probably going to happen. <laughs> it's probably going to happen. Probably okay. So. Well. So now this is this is the moment you've all ooh, been waiting ooh, for. Boy. Okay, right we're going to talk about fashion. I know you all were waiting anxiously to hear our thoughts about the 2021 Met Gala. Um, gala. So if you're watching on YouTube, oh gosh, <laughs> sorry, Gala. You got to be, be a little upper crust. Um, the Met Gala. <laughs> Met Gala. There you go. <laughs> uh, so. What if you're watching on YouTube? You're going to see these pictures here in just a minute. Um, I've got to set some things up for the viewers. But if you're at home listening on your podcast, in your car, whatever you're doing, um, don't worry. We're going to describe them the best we can, and uh, <laughs> you're going to know exactly what we're talking about, and, mm-hmm. and you'll have fun watching. Yeah, you it, might so. actually picture something that's better in your head than what it actually looks like. Uh. Uh, probably. <laughs> it's yeah, it's weird. So. Um, so what is the Met Gala? It's, it's this time of year when all these fancy people spend lots of money to go to New York and wear fancy things and try to show what's going to be fashion. I mean, yeah. And, and basically like it's, it's, um, it's, they're raising money for like a, a section of the Metropolitan Museum basically that, that handles, uh, like, uh, basically the history of clothing kind of <laughs> like uh, they're all kind of yeah. periods of time. Um, and the, the, the cost per plate to go to this thing 
is thirty to fifty thousand dollars. That's crazy. Yes, <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you have, when we were not going to talk about this, we're not going to get political here, but one, one person wore a dress that said, tax the rich. And you're like, what? Like, <laughs> Are these not the you, people that yeah, you want to tax? Do you know who you're standing next to? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I thought, I, whether you agree with her or not, it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Some people said it looked like a Chick-fil-A dress. Because <laughs> it's the same kind of writing. Uh, <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it happens in New York. It happens every year. It's this big event. And the theme of it this year actually had two parts. So it was um, In America, a Lexicon of Fashion, and In America, an Anthology of Fashion. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these pictures or imagining these outfits. If you haven't seen them, we'll, uh, I'll post a link in the description so you can go see them. <laughs> uh, find, find a link to put on there. Um, so... These people are just insane. So uh, mm. we have to. We we figure we had to talk about this and and geek out about these wonderful yes. things. So without <laughs> further ado, we'll get started. So this this first image that's on the screen <laughs> is of Kim Petrus. She's a singer songwriter from Germany. Starting off strong. <laughs> and it's she's she has a horse head as that's her top essentially, yes. and it's like this big made out of molded. Plastic or rubber, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, she's not horsing and around with this. She's not horsing around, and uh, the dress is just a dress, I guess. It's, I don't know if there's anything special. Well, it's about very it, wide hipped. Um, it, very wide hipped. Like yeah. super wide hip. Um, it, she's got like two beach balls underneath on either side of her <laughs> hips. It's gotta be, yeah. Like underneath, <laughs> basically, what looks like um, something your like older aunt would have as like <laughs> drapery. Yes, in one of their rooms, um, but I mean, her tail is is definitely like a long mane, like not her tail, but her hair. Her tail. I mean, it looks like a tail. <laughs> like I mean, her hair it looks like it's, a tail. It's up like a long mane and almost the tail it of a horse, looks like a horse's mane. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, straight. It's, it's straight weird. Of the horse's if mouth. You um, and the the on the snout or what if you call that of the horse. <laughs> I don't, the big nose, whatever part, has a heart shape at the yeah, top, you know, like where you usually see a different color. Yeah, um, it's interesting. But, the, like I, so you you only heard about this recently. I've I've like every year I see these weird. I've heard like, of it, but I'll yeah, look at these I've weird things, it. and like every year it gets weirder and weirder. And um, I'm sure. I, I think this is one of the better. <laughs> <laughs> things out of it, it's just like okay, it's kind of nice. I get it. Uh, you got a horse's head. I mean. Maybe you're a fan of The Godfather. I don't know. Um, I, but I it works. Yeah. Um, I guess. Like, I mean, compared to some of those stuff, you're just like, well, hi. Um, uh, yeah. But, I mean, I guess you're kind of... What does like, it have to do with America? Yeah, I, I mean, the, the land of the free-range horses. Um, <laughs> Ryan uh, said in the chat, it's Mr. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur! <laughs> but, I mean, it's it's... Yeah, it's this plastic horse head that's at her top, yeah. so it's weird, and the ears come up over her shoulders. Yeah, and at so one point, you, she you gotta she did put believe. peanut butter in its mouth, and it looked like it was talking. It's talking, yeah, yes, it was, exactly. Yeah, it's fun. So, uh, that <laughs> is Kim Petras. <laughs> so, next, Ooh. we have Dan Levy. Wow. Nice. Well, I mean... That's nice. This this is straight out of um, his show on, on Netflix, I think. Yes. Um, can we say? I don't think we can say what because it, it'll it'll sound like something else. Uh, yeah. No. Um, uh, <laughs> no. It's, Creek. It, the name of the show is Shit's Creek. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's okay to say. We it's a cuss, funny I show. Promise. It's a good show. He does a really great yeah. job on it. Um, this like he's 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 like I don't want just puffy shoulders. I want puffy arms. Uh, yeah. Everything. It, it's like it's so. It's like when like you play that game as a kid where you got the parachute. All the kids yeah. got the parachute and it's like a parachute. Yeah. And it's just so on his arms. It's almost like he's he's trying to be a globe, right? His arms it, if he puts his arms to on his sides, it makes him look like he's a rounded globe, right? Like that he has this huge he's a huge globe and his even his the pants that he has look like part of a globe, like they look like a map or, or again part of a globe. Mm -hmm. And there's some people on his shirt. We won't talk about what they're doing, but uh, <laughs> then he has these wonderful boots on. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 different. Yeah, I mean, um, when you when you got to go I mean, to the Met Gala, but you have to skydive later on in the day. <laughs> that's like, right. It's, he could skydive. 
Um, was this sick. was his first Met, Met Gala, so I did have some notes about this point because he said, uh, I'm a pretty introverted person and I tend to play to avoid big parties. So this is a really, really taking a big step out of my comfort zone. As, and uh, I just keep saying to everybody, I don't know anyone here. I'm just going to be that person in the corner that's just watching people and not talking to anyone. <laughs> so it's, but, but it's like he didn't want to stand out, but he, he felt like he needed to play the yeah. part, you know, and, and be crazy. I mean, if you're going to go to this thing, you might as well go all out. And that's, that's what he's done. Uh, that's what he did. Oh, it's well. fun. Anyways. It's fun. All right, so this one is one of my favorites, and it became more of my favorite once I learned more about it. So this is Frank Ocean. I'm not familiar with his music, but he is a musician. Mm-hmm. Um, but he has he's he spray painted his hair green, which okay, and he wore mm-hmm. just a plain jacket and pants. But his his piece of art, I guess, is <laughs> this doll that he's holding that has a green same color <laughs> green yeah. as his hair, and this um, hooded jacket on, and apparently this. Baby, it looks like he's holding a baby. Is a robot. I did, I haven't seen a video of this thing, but it's it's it moves and does things. Uh, I hope its head spins around. Um, I know because yeah, it's it's a baby alien green, um, or almost like a teletubby green. Yeah, um, I kind of want to see the hair it's underneath creepy. the the hoodie that it has on. <laughs> yeah, see what that's so, like, but. I, I don't know what that's about, but that that was interesting. It was just funny that his outfit was pretty plain. I, <laughs> otherwise, I mean, maybe he that's maybe that's just his comfort doll that he needs it um, is. to take I, with him places. It, I, and I guess so. And that, I mean, I think it's worth noting too is like uh, there are a lot of people that go to this thing and they dress normal, like they're adults and um, don't need to be crazy, right? And do yeah. all these crazy I mean, things. They they just. Dress normal. I, th- I think the baby is one of those things they use in court where they like point on the doll where there was a fashion <laughs> faux pas. That's where right. where on the where on the doll was it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He was wearing white past right. Labor Day. It was right there. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, there you the go. Next one here, I titled Spider Face Lady. <laughs> I didn't know who it was at first. I had to I had to go back and look it up because I forgot to look it up. And this is Hunter Schaefer, who's a, a model. I, you know, whatever. But <laughs> she has this metalish looking spider right between her eyes, which her eyes are just white. Mm-hmm. And she has these special contact lenses in that just made her eyes white. And um, and then this silver outfit, which just doesn't really make any difference. It almost <laughs> looks like it's metal plated or something, you know. But it's, you know, yeah, it's it's like a armored skin that you would get in a video game. <laughs> there you like. go. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, so, some kind of adventure game. But I had a closer up picture. I should have kept it in here. But it's creepy when you look closely at that spider in her eyes. But, yeah, that it's very yeah um, alien robotic. Um, yeah. Which I like this this one isn't as like crazy as some of the other ones have been. Like the yeah. thing on the face is kind of creepy. Um, <laughs> right. That's the like, creepy part. That, yeah. she's like out of like a Conjuring movie or something. With that, yeah, but yeah. Um, but that one I don't mind. It's it's it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's okay. It's shiny. It's fine. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, but again, like, what does this have to do with America? Who knows? I yeah, don't, yeah. Don't know. <laughs> Whatever. All right. <laughs> this next one. Um, I, I don't know if people actually knew who it was until they said something. I guess. Yeah. I don't. Remember. I don't see how they could. Um, um, yeah, you can't know. So this this next person is dressed in black head to toe mm-hmm. it's one of those suits that you see for halloween yeah, like party city that's yeah <laughs> like it's it's a you know colored outfit suit whatever you want to call it that mm-hmm. um skin tight almost this i don't know this isn't necessarily skin tight because it's more of a dress it's I mean, it has, it's it, a lot of it's skin tight it's but. tight and loose <laughs> yeah so this is kim kardashian Yes, and I put actor model question mark I don't, I don't know what she does uh, like when that show came on the kardashians TV. it was like personality yeah but like why um, did she become famous because was... her parents are famous and yeah. then they got a reality tv show um <laughs> that's basically yeah. it and she's it's she's crazy. married famous people and divorced famous right. people and that's oh i know but kind of but that's it, it you know it's, um, that's crazy but yeah that's the world we live in it's it's so weird and the and it's 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 like a a, a wedding train yeah, Vance yeah. is like, ah, it's a Dementor. Yeah, it's right. Yeah. It's a Dementor or, um, yeah, Ringwraith from Lord of the Rings. Uh, 
So I saw it described as Darth Vader, a Dementor from Harry Potter, and Xenomorph from Alien. <laughs> so it's like the three, the three things. So it's, it's just it's a very fashion forward ring race. I think is is what it is. Yeah. So, and then the person that was with her, I don't. Did they reveal who that was? I don't know if that was. I don't oh, know. I have no uh, had a similar outfit, just but it was like sweats and this this. Uh, <laughs> Skin tight outfit, yeah. Uh, Ryan says it's Peter Pan's shadow. Yeah, <laughs> right. so. they sewed her back on to someone's feet later on at, yes. at the gala. Yes. Um, so <laughs> I don't know, America, <laughs> America. That's <laughs> that's us. It, continuing, oh, I mean, this is a very popular color to wear at a, a ball. Mm-hmm. Right, is black, right? So this is Erica Badu, mm-hmm. which is she. another. Uh, musician, oh. she's a very good um, singer. I, I do like her. Her voice yeah. is very nice. So, uh, she yeah. did roll out of her like tent when she was camping, and just kind of wrapped the. <laughs> it's, it's like a sleeping, sleeping bag. bag around her and went to the gala. Yeah. Uh, the hat's and cool. Hats, it, the, yeah, it's almost like when you ca- talk about think about camping, they have those little nets that you can put over your food to protect it from all the flies. <laughs> yeah, it's, maybe yeah, that's what it's that on is. top of a top hat. The, it's the top hat top is protect, top hat. protected from mosquitoes. So I think she would just was she was camping, and then that's like threw is. stuff together and came to the gala. I think that's that's what happened here. <laughs> I, I guess so. In one <laughs> picture, she had, and she can tell in this picture, she's holding up the bowl that's on her head. The um, the net thing mm-hmm. or whatever, the, the, um, <laughs> but it was down over her face. So it's like she had this round, round, you know, super round head, I guess. But, hmm. um, uh, so it's a little weird. I, it's like a blanket she's got around her that's black and has stripes on it. So it's, um, a little different. <laughs> um, whatever. Again, not as crazy as this. Um, this one. <laughs> good, good segue. <laughs> So this is Lil Nas X. Yeah, so at first he was wearing the tent that Erica Badu was sleeping <laughs> in right. before she came here. Because yep. it's bas- it's a pyramid. He's inside of a pyramid that's like a cloak, a golden, golden pyramid. pyramid that like, and he had layers. Like he changed throughout the night. Look at that. He did. Like. Yeah, so he t- took that off, and then he looked like C three PO. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> Underneath is a uh, uh, yeah, very the masculine C three PO. Very masculine C three PO. Yeah, it's so it's a it's a golden um, armor suit of armor, right? Mm-hmm. No, no helmet with it, just um, his flat top or whatever hairstyle there, and um, uh, very shiny gold and. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not and, not the craziest thing. I mean, crazy, but like, <laughs> yeah. And then you know. from C three PO, he went into being a part of the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So it's like a paisley tight a jumpsuit. Yeah, That's the word jumpsuit. <laughs> jumpsuit. Um, yeah. With his big boots. Big old boots. <laughs> yeah, they were made for walking. So uh, <laughs> it's the first. Yeah, it's, it's a, uh, Ryan just said it's the first. Second and third stage of a video game boss fight. Exactly. That couldn't be more true. <laughs> C three PO and Spaceballs two is what Vance says <laughs> in the comments. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's really weird. Um, again, if you're only listening to this, I'm sorry. It's you've got to see these pictures, but mm. um, they're it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, uh, the next one is uh, a, a person known as Evan Mock. Hmm. Um, so he's an actor. You may know him, um, but he he nobody knew who he was for like the longest time. Wonder and, why? And when he came in, they're like, "Who is this?" You know, and it, so it's almost like a a gimp. Yeah, suit, it's hat, it's as if right? like the the fly hat. went S and M. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the, yeah, the, the eyes of the mask have dots all over them. You know, I guess so we can see. They look yeah, kind of bug eyed. But, um, but yeah, it's that it's that kind oh, of yeah. mesh with like big. It's like a bigger mesh. So yeah, he could. Yeah, mesh. That's see word. through, and then he's got um, like um, spikes, like heavy metal spikes in a in a, like a mohawk. mohawk pattern on a leather mask. There is yep. a nose hole though, and where his nose can kind of sort of stick which out, which is very very important. Yes, um, but can you imagine having that on your face and then having to take it off, and your face is just like dripping? Oh, sweat it had it's so to hot. be. <laughs> it had, had to be dip, dripping sweat <laughs> after wearing this thing. Uh, so, and then the rest of his outfit, or it was fine. It was just a tux- know, it's like this, yeah. it's a tuxedo, right? Yeah. I mean, how much baby powder did so, he 
put on his head. They stick this thing on. <laughs> so I, I did have the uh, the picture of him without the hat on, but it, you know it doesn't really matter. He just looks like a normal dude, so that's fine. Um, eh, whatever. Lovely. All right. Next one is um, really weird. Um, this is ASAP Rocky and Rihanna, which are you know they're both musicians, mm-hmm. I guess. And um, I, I saw this. So the the, um, the theme of this is they're wearing comforter coats. That's ah, what these are called. Okay. These are so they're, they look like comforters from a bed <laughs> that they put on. They both were supposedly like this. Um, but it, what's really funny is I saw his described as his um, his comforter is described as Captain Crunch. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is true. So, he's the captain. It's all the yeah. Yeah, he's the captain. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's little multicolored Captain Crunch, but it's definitely Captain Crunch looking. She doesn't. I mean, yeah, she looks some, fine. Like no, she looks plain. I, I yeah. mean, it's. I mean, she she looks nice. Like it just looks like a very yeah. kind of puffy coat, or whatever right. that she's wearing. Comfort. Uh, comfort <laughs> but it's a comforter apparently. Like yeah, um, it's supposed to be a comforter she too. So. Wanted to take a nap at some point during the night. She could do that. <laughs> Vance yeah. is like it's grandma's quilt. Yeah, yeah, it is. So it's a big quilt. So imagine somebody wearing a quilt and going to a fancy gala. Yeah, you know it. Uh, okay. It's 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 like he stayed home sick that day, sleeping on the couch. <laughs> got up to to go to the kitchen to get something. Oh, gotta go, and like, and then just went to the Met Gala like that. Uh, That's crazy. <laughs> he was taking a nap that $30, day. Thirty thousand dollars to dress like that. <laughs> oh man. So Ooh, hey. um, this next one actually it probably fits more into what you would expect from this sort of thing, right? Mm-hmm. This is Naomi. Osaka, who is a tennis player, and um, she has her hair plastered flat, going straight out to the sides, yeah, she, um, almost like a character from what is that show? Um, not Hey Arnold, but what was that? Or is that oh, Arnold? I mean, like, kind of like, like Hey Arnold, yeah. I guess. yeah. Or Rugrats. <laughs> it's like, it's like oh, she looks like Rugrats, the doll the from word. Rugrats. Yeah, that's what I was that's trying what to think of. Like. Yeah, she looks like I, yeah. I forget the name of the doll, but it's like a Barbie doll that uh, the the girl has in the show, and <laughs> she looks like yeah, that. That's a, um, yeah. either that or she took her tennis rackets and just like put her hair put her <laughs> on them and stuck so, it her head. And then, so the dress is normal; it looks fine, whatever. But she she have a, she had a description. I did find this one. It says to to me, American means a mix of all cultures, and this dress is. This dress and this look represents my two backgrounds, American and Japanese. So, I can see that. That yeah, makes sense. That so, I, can see. I wish I had descriptions for all of these. I wish they all said these things about their <laughs> costumes or outfits, whatever you want to call them, and, and explain themselves, mm-hmm. you know? So, I mean, this one, yeah, yeah, kind of normal. The only thing is the hair, and I don't, I don't know how. The only thing is the hair. She got it like that, and I'm pretty sure that's going to stay like that for weeks. It could. <laughs> so she might have used what is it, gorilla glue? Is yeah, they, they, <laughs> she must they, have put it in there. <laughs> that, that's representing America using the gorilla glue. That's glue. Stupid America. <laughs> to put the hair up, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is the last one, and this is. Uh, I mean, there were plenty others. Uh, we didn't want to spend take your whole time mm-hmm, listening mm-hmm. to all these great outfits, but this was my favorite. Um, and this person's name is Grimes. Yes, it's a female. She's married to or she, boyfriend. She is married to Elon Musk. She has a kid with him. Um, they were on again, off again for a while, and now they're together. Um, she <laughs> oh, she is a singer, songwriter, or whatever. Yes. Um, her stuff an experimental. Yes, musician. it's very kind of weird techno kind of like stuff. My my wife loves her music. Actually, of course, it's yeah. Elon Musk connected. She's gonna love it. That's right. um, <laughs> it doesn't matter what it sounds like. It sounds like <laughs> Elon Musk connected. Um, but the dress, I mean, looks cool. Like it's yeah. it's very kind of it's wispy, cool. flowy, wind like, um, with like these um, kind of metallic patterns throughout. Yep. Almost like kind of she, weird palm leaf kind of looking. Um, so she's wearing a mask. It's very silver yeah, it's, and looks metal, metallic, mm-hmm. you know, and. Um, but at least she's wearing a mask. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> um, uh, but so I do have some notes on this one oh. as well. She she's also known as C, and possibly soon Claire de Lune. Oh, so oh. she's going to change her name soon. I don't know. But so the the look is supposed to be Dune esque. So the movie uh, Dune okay. is coming out. Soon. Makes sense. And so she apparently <laughs> she apparently worked on the new movie. She's not necessarily in it, hmm. but she helped with the movies in some way. That's cool. I don't know what that means exactly, but I thought that was pretty cool. I'm excited about Dune, by the yeah. way. I hope it 
uh, does well. I hope it is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but the sword is made from a Colt AR 15 A3. Yes. So an automatic rifle. <laughs> and she found these people that actually melted down this gun and made, and makes them into things like swords or tools mm-hmm. and things like that. So I, I thought that was pretty that cool. That is cool. Um, because yeah. it looks more like a sword than anything, <laughs> you know, but, um, yeah. I could and, see her in Dune. Yes. I could see her in a video game. Um, yeah, it, yeah. Looks like a fighter from a fighting. Yeah, game. I mean this the sword really cool. or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this might be my um, favorite one. Really, I think. Yeah, it is. It's my favorite <laughs> too. Uh, that's why I left it as last or kept it as last because that that was my favorite. Um, I don't know. Pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. that's so. That was all the craziness. From the Met Gala, I hope you enjoyed that on the live stream. I hope you enjoyed it on the podcast. Um, (laughs) That's probably the last time we'll talk about fashion, (laughs) at least directly. And and next year, if you just have like thirty to fifty thousand dollars laying around, we're we're going. Yeah, just like throw on whatever you can find in your house. I mean, that's what I would do. Go. Um, That's what these people did. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) So, um. I don't know. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, we got Halloween coming up pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, we said at the beginning of the show we'd talk a little bit about Halloween. And we, so when do you guys get ready for Halloween? Oh, Is that October thing for we, you, or have you already we've started? Already started. <laughs> oh, we've started um, in inside the house this past weekend. I started pulling out our Halloween stuff to to put up. Um, so like that's that's almost done in the house. There's a few things nice. left to put up, and yeah, this weekend I'm gonna be going outside and I'm gonna be uh, pulling all the stuff to outside. We got nice. all the lights, we got the the graveyard to put up, uh, just just various things because we 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 go big, we go big on Halloween yeah. and and uh, we we get it out as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you might as well, yeah. right? And enjoy mm-hmm. it. That's same for. For um for Christmas stuff for us, we start as early as we can. But um, oh, yeah. we, yeah, um, we bought uh, a skeleton last year and used it uh, in our upstairs window to set uh, and look out over everybody. And and uh, <laughs> we bought another skeleton this year because they were on sale at Walgreens. And I always missed the sale. Like they were, it was thirty five dollars for the skeleton, you know. And, and normally they're like forty something, you know. So uh, I think the first one we bought was actually like fifty bucks or something, but we had a coupon or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, so we finally got one, and I'm like, okay, what do we do with it? <laughs> what we're gonna do? But uh, but yeah, we're starting to really expand ours. And uh, ha- now that we're at this new house, we've, we've got some space out in the front that we can really play with and add a graveyard mm-hmm. and keep in it and it stays in like this little area that looks really cool and and um we we've got i think we threw our spiders away we had spiders that we put on our old house mm-hmm. um, that were climbing and i think they got wet and i was like i don't want to deal with these and <laughs> oh wet spiders yeah. so i've <laughs> uh yeah so i'm, I'm probably going to get some more though because we've got a great front to the house on the where the garage is where we could really do a lot of climbing you know and, and mm-hmm. uh, of course we made a um uh like a cocooned person you know with webbing you know it looks like somebody's all um, wrapped up in a well, not a cocoon but you yeah. know what i mean like they're <laughs> wrapped up by a spider so we have that to put out it, uh so we need the spiders um <laughs> so and we'll see. You can but. dress as Samwise Gamgee and pretend that like Mr. Frodo is right. like wrapped up in there and try and save him. Yeah. And, yeah. and someone can yeah. well you, your your kid can dress up as uh, Kim Kardashian, ring wraith, and it'd, um, it'd, it'd yeah. be perfect. I mean, we should, I guess. <laughs> um, so we'll 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 talk more about Halloween. I'm sure Ron will be mad if we talk too much about Halloween because it's his favorite time of year. So we'll save all of that wonderful time of hallow geek for future episodes so that's it we talked about fashion we talked about hawkeye and we talked about halloween and and space 220 is there anything else chris no i mean i i think we've covered the gamut we covered it all we went an hour we were trying we actually said at the beginning why don't we try to do it shorter it's my fault i had too much stuff we should have done it shorter. oh well. <laughs> we had um, to talk about the Met so, Gala, so i mean we, we did have to talk about the Met Gala. But that was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. So um, thanks for 
being here, Chris, and, and oh, you as well. going through that with me. <laughs> we had, had a blast. So, all right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. This has been episode 208. Thank you for listening and everyone watching the live stream. Uh, if you're not watching the live stream, then you should check us out on multi- multimedia, social media, rather. <laughs> and uh, you'll find us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all as I Am Geek Show. Um, you can join our Facebook group, the I Am Group. Uh, just type that in and you will you should be able to find us. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, you can also listen to the podcast. Um, that's great, too, if but you know certainly just keep watching you know? <laughs> um and uh, just anywhere that you listen to podcasts you can find us on apple and google and stitcher and amazon just uh, search for i am geek all one word and if you want to buy some of our merch you can go to shop.spreadshirt.com slash i am geek or look on etsy if you're interested in any um uh kyber crystals ryan's made some kyber crystals there so just look for i am geek on etsy so if you can't remember any of this you can just go to imgeekshow.com and you'll find links to all of the wonderful things so thanks again for listening and we'll be back next week bye-bye yeah. <laughs>